I just did a very risky move. I increased the number of coats in the trading posts way higher, but I think it's gonna work out in the end. I think we can afford to get so many codes there. You can already see a new child being born. That is very good to hear. Uh, a child named Han was born. So the late summer of the eighth year. And I hope these shacks is what the uh, is what the the population is gonna need. As another child is born, Eleanorine. Very pretty name. try and do a little bit of evicting of those old old folks here and I can try to do that so that, that's gonna involve a little bit of micro so I'm just gonna wait for those shacks to be uh, to be completed Maybe a town about you would be a, a good investment as well. As it houses a as it houses young families. So that might be uh that might be something that my population needs right now. And I could build it back there behind the boarding house. That would be quite quite a good placement here. Yeah, I think let's do that. Looks like all the folks are moving in here. So we're still gonna need more and more people. Okay, so Con Santiago has become a laborer. I think we can finally max out the gatherers and not worry about food for quite a long time. Yeah, the only thing I'm worried about as of now is firewood somewhat with these much colder houses and of course the stone that is running really low that's all these stone houses do take a lot of a lot of resources to make yep I know that already As I look around, my population is quite, quite old. I do feel a little bit concerned about that. Let's see if the abode, or abode? I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to look it up. Maybe this would uh, alleviate some of that problem. Oh, 
Alright, a family moved in. They're not that young, but I guess compared to the rest of the village, they're quite with quite average. Of a quite average age, so. Well, then I think we could use. Maybe a wooden home here? I don't know. You can build wooden homes and then uh, upgrade them to stone houses, but. I do not know if I want to do that. Maybe let's put that builder back onto laborer's duty and let the uh, let the people gather some stone instead, just for some time. And there is some hunted deer here for some reason. Right, we got two new kids born, Salia and Malvis. That's a good sign. And those are quite old people who are having these ki these kids, so maybe my concern was a little bit too premature. Okay, Zabrinli or Sabrinli has become an adult. It's always good to hear, but. Now we have no students and six kids. And I would like... I would like to have like around six kids, seven kids, until I'm like, I don't know, population of 50 maybe? Then we can slowly, slowly make it back, make it uh, more and more. And here we have a trader scooting around. Let's uh, let's hope it's not the uh, <laughs> it's not the uh, coat guy because I'm gonna be pretty angry if it's him. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we got some cheese bread and some sourdough, which would be nice, but. Oh, very nice. We can uh, we can now import wheat, corn, kernels, huh? Sorghum, sorghum. I don't know what was that, but barley, corn, wheat. They're all very nice. I think we can try and import some of that, uh, some of the, these grains here. Flour would be nice as well. I think it would. Give us uh, corn, barley and wheat every visit. That way we could build this uh, water mill here. And put that to use. That would be pretty fantastic. Or maybe a water mill somewhere here. Where we already have a bridge built up that would be that would be better there. So uh, I'm gonna place this order for them to give us barley, corn, and wheat. And we're gonna make it a flour and maybe sell that flour or make our own bread just to keep our people a little bit happier and have some new uh, some new stuff to export. For now, do I want uh, do I want any of these cheese bread, soghern, sog sogham? I don't know what that is. I have to look it up. I'm gonna do it after this episode. Uh, I don't want that. So I'm very good on food. I actually, do need stone. But I hope they're gonna remember that order. And bring um, bring us some of that later. 
and let's see a uh, mill mill water mill or a windmill but we're gonna have we're gonna need a ropery and some advanced stuff there so a water mill is what we would need it could be built here it could almost be built here ah oh, there's always that one tile isn't it there is always that one pesky tile. Also oh, close on this bank as well. It's not that good. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so much. I couldn't put, build it on this bank either way. So this looks like it's the closest that we could build this water mill. It could be a good start for the rest of our economy. Although we would need to build some houses here, so some markets on this bank as well. So maybe we could just move it around and build it here although this is gonna cut into our fishing dock which I would like to to use but I'm not sure about that hmm this is quite a pickle a bakery would also be nice so I think I'm gonna plan it uh, Round here on the back of this of this tailor, and I'm very pleased to see another baby, meld, me meld maybe. So let's pause this bakery, and I guess let's get this water mill on this side. I do want to make use of these houses closest to our first market as much as possible. So we're gonna have maybe two more houses here. We're gonna cut just a little bit into this food production and leather production side of our town. Unfortunately that's gonna mean that I'm gonna have to remove this fishing dock. Maybe place it around here as I remember the sawmill was quite a pain to fit anywhere else Although now it could be built on this bank and there would be a place for this temporary wooden bridge, so that's alright. And with the destruction of this sawmill we can plan for our fishery or for our fishing dock to be somewhere here. It's gonna have plenty of water to fish in and not many, uh, not many bridges cutting into that. So that's fantastic. Right, water mill, water mill, water mill. Do I want it already? I think I want it ready, but I still think we are quite bad on the housing front for now. So let's try this. Let's try deconstructing this stone house and now we got these people into the boarding house and I now I got this house unoccupied and let's see if anybody younger moves in. Nope. 
there's still that. Let's try it again. That's quite sadistic, but this is what you have to do sometimes. Nope. I'm just gonna move back in there. Oh, well. Well, maybe I could just stop with all that and just build more houses on front, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. Although I do have quite a lot of logs laying around, so let's build a wooden house. Here's gonna be a nice place for that. Let's pick a nice looking house here and let's build it up. I want to see where the blacksmith is gonna bring his tools here. Yeah, moving them into this storage barn here. So. Maybe this bank barn is something we should consider again. Although we just made. I just made a mistake. I put it. I put the town uh, abode in the place I was supposed to be reserved for the bank barn. So shame on me. Shame on me indeed. Right. A grain silo would be nice. Very near our mill and our trading post because we're not gonna produce our own. We're not gonna be producing our own uh, grains. We're gonna buy a lot of them. So that could be a nice place to put it in. Let's pause it. And then to minimize the amount of time the baker is gonna work, I'm gonna put the bakery right here as well. No wait, I already put the bakery back in here. So let's crash that. And let's put it back in here. But it does look like we will have a little bit of a second town or a second district going on here. We could use with a some kind of a market back here back here. So we could have a small a couple of stalls here or we could have a rural market back on this other side of the map. Or we can just uh, cancel these for now. Remember that we'll have 
our mill on this side rather. Oh, okay. So that's what all the stone went for. Got into this mill. I forgot that I uh, I started building it. So. That's what held up all of that stone reserves. And you can see, a woodcutter has died of old age. It has started. And we have one laborer replacing them straight away. So we're gonna have a little bit of a dip as people are gonna st start dying. And I don't think I had enough children to replace them fully. But we have a lot of a surpl surplus of food. So we can uh, pull back some of these uh, gathering jobs and fill the uh, fill in the spaces we need with people that are working as the as gatherers right now The mill is taking shape. Unfortunately, the mod that I'm using uh, does not allow for moving parts of buildings, so this mill is gonna be just standing here. Or maybe they changed it. I don't know. Let's we're gonna see later. But I don't think vanished allows structures to move as of now. Very nice. Okay, so that was that was a resource, and I am madame for not for not getting that. So mm -hmm. I feel pretty bad about that, but well, lesson learned. Now a grain silo would be nice. Closely here. We could build a grain silo like midway from the bakery and the mill. That would be nice. So let's plan it here. Let's not build it, of course. And let's plant the bakery back here. Doesn't seem to be moving. Well, there's no work here, so it shouldn't. There is still lots of stone to be uh, collected, but we are running into a little bit of a problem with iron. I 
think I'm approaching the uh, stage of the game in which iron starts to be a really scarce resource, but we do have a lot of it on the other bank, so I'm not that concerned about that. Right, let's uh, end this eventful episode <laughs> here, and let's come back to Pertle Town, road to 300. We got ways to go, but we are so much closer than the last time, and until then, see you.